you can see, our robotic arm is already taking shape. We'll place a cable tie on the cables to keep them more organized. Using pliers, we'll thread the cables through the black piece until they reach the base axis. Similarly, we'll secure them with a cable tie. Now we'll attach this small piece to the arm using an 18mm hex head screw. We'll fold a rubber band and thread it through the cables, then wrap it around the servo and the screw as shown in the video. We'll connect an extension to the narrower cable, arranging the cables to exit through the bottom, and then secure the cover with two 12mm M3 screws. We'll connect the servo motors to the PCB in order. First the forearm, then the arm, and finally the claw. Now we'll take out the cover with the potentiometers that we prepared earlier. We'll connect the cables to the board. To ensure the correct positioning, we can follow this diagram as a guide. We'll place the cover and secure it with three 12mm M3 screws. Now we'll place the axis on the base and secure it with a screw, making sure it's not too tight. We'll stick the black indicators on each knob we printed and finally place them on the potentiometers. 